Hello, welcome to my lesson on mandolin. We're going to start working on what I'm going to call a bluegrass scale. Uh, most of us that have taken music are very familiar with the major scale. And then the minor scale. So, bluegrass it's a little bit interesting. It fits with the style of music. Uh, it's both a, a very happy and it's a very sad music all at the same time. And I think one of the ways that they've accomplished this is combining the, the major and the, the minor elements. Um, so in order to play this scale, you're going to play the lowest string, which is on top of the instrument. This is also a G. And then you're going to place the first finger. This is your second note. Your third note is on the fret right next to your first finger. But then we're going to do something that's called a slide. And so what that slide does is it takes that third note, so we have a flattened third note, and then slides up and gives you that, that major that minor here and major there. And when you're done the slide, I pick the next open string, the first finger. Now this is all happening on this, not the lower string, but the one just above it. And when I say above, I mean higher in pitch. And then the third finger. So all together, you get that sound. So coming back down the scale, we're going to pick a few different notes. So this is also G up here, a perfect octave. But instead of coming back down uh, the way that you're probably used to, I'm going to take this seventh note and we're going to make it flat. So now we can add a little bit of color. So I'll play the third finger, open, and then play that seventh, the flat seven. Then the first finger, open. Then I'm going to play the lower note. And then here's our slide. And then open. So practice this slowly. Uh, make sure you, you get nice, clear sound out of the instrument. Don't be kind of messing up and, and hitting you know too far up or too far back on the fret uh, you would just want a nice clean sound now to come back down so three open and then that flat seven Your slide. So practice those slowly and then as you get better at them just speed them up. Oops. <laughs> and try to get the right notes too. Thanks. Uh, we'll see you on the next one.